another day of disappointment. The Walking Dead did it again. This is season two. I just finished episode five and it broke me again. Here we are again. Tears in my eyes. Sitting here watching and playing this freaking game. Um, this was a great season overall. I had a lot of fun with it. And I think the ending is going to really surprise you guys with what I went with. Hit that like button if you enjoy this video. And let's get into it. The Walking Dead Season 2. All right, here we go, guys. Episode 4. I didn't cut her arm off, so... Yikes. Let's see how this plays out. Oh no! Kenny's gonna be so messed up. He's gonna lose another person in his life. Don't tell your don't tell another lie to yourself like you did last time, Kenny. <gasps> what about Clem? You just left her? Why did you do that? Oh going after Sarah! Luke! Luke! Oh, I knew he was gonna get shot. I knew somebody was gonna get shot eventually. I'm surprised Clementine didn't get hit by any bullets. Whoa. Cause they're just spraying and praying up there. God, Clem, you gotta get up. That's a good idea, yeah. Cover yourself even more. Be sure. Just stay quiet. You'll make it through this. Oh my God. Thank you. A familiar face. Oh no, come on. We can watch each other's back. Yes. I'll stick with you. Thank you. Ah. Can't clear a path to the trees. Maybe they're getting out somewhere. Do you see any openings? Ah. Uh. was a little open earlier, I guess. Oh my God. And we're dead. <laughs> I had seen it. It was really quick and then it went away. Okay. Okay. This time it should be right there. Come on. We got this. What? Okay. We can't come together like this. It's better if we spread out. You two will be fine. No, you don't understand. Just You guys are fine. Just go. I'll stay close and watch out for Rebecca. Your choice. Yeah, because she's panicking. I need to help her out. That's a good call, Clem. She's gonna come back and help. We'll have to push through that cluster of walkers. There's so many. We'll make a cow catcher. Just oh, what is that? What? 
go see. There. That one looks light enough to carry. I'm gonna get on the far side of her. I need you to get her attention. All right. I'll try. Um. Hey, over here. I got her attention. Okay. Good work, Jane. Ooh. Smart. Stay close. If you fall behind, I can't come back for you. Oh wait. Don't fall behind now. This is scary. I don't like it. <gasps> oh, nice. Her survival skills are A plus. I like Jane. Well, we got through that. That wasn't too bad. Amid the ruins. We can stop for a moment if you need to. No. No, I, I can rest when we're with the others. I can't rest now. Can't just stop. I need to make sure everyone else made it out. Luke, Sarah, Kenny. God damn it. What if they aren't there? Oh no. If they aren't, nothing we can do about it. Don't even say things like that. Fine. Sorry. I mean, she's right though. I don't even know if we're safe. What if the herd is still following us? We're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? We gotta keep going. We'll watch out for each other. So long as we keep up a good pace. I know, I know. Just, I'm going as fast as I can. I know I should feel glad that we escaped, but I just can't stop thinking about the others. How could I leave Alvin behind? It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working, we could have... I don't know. The plan worked. We got out of there. Most of us. Look, I know that some of your people didn't make it, but Carver was crazy. Staying would have only prolonged the inevitable. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Of course! We panicked! We were scared! The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No! No, that's not what I'm saying. Just... Ugh. Oh, no. I have to stop. I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh, yeah. Take a minute. Thank you. Aww. Alvin was supposed to be here for this. Is Alvin... He's dead is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Jane, do you know anything about... No. I don't. What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry. Just making conversation. It was nothing. No. What do you mean by that? Who with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food. And, you know, other stuff. Yeah? And? And we'll look after it together. Even if that's the case, you can't always protect everyone. 
and you assume I won't be capable enough. Just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey, I've seen it before. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were... She died? I don't need your pity. You don't... You don't have the right... Jane! Shit, I didn't mean it. Shit. Jane, wait! Oh, damn it. Rebecca is always mean at the wrong times. We can't just sit here doing nothing. I know, I know. Oh, we made it. Here soon. Holy shit. It had been so long. You were starting to worry no one else would make it. Oh, besides. Now, hopefully we can uh -oh. figure out a plan. How's Sarita? I tried to talk to Ken. He flipped out on me. Started yelling. Scary shit. I know. He probably didn't mean it. But it was scary. Not again. I feel so bad for Kenny. I hate to say it. Sarita's on her way out. She's probably gonna turn soon. Is, uh... Is he gonna take care of her? Jane! I know it's not pretty, but it's better than the alternative. It's not our decision to make. It is the one that's gotta be made. We're already up the creek enough without a walker to worry about. Just let me talk to him first. It's alright, Sarita. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna be here with you. Right till the end. Hi, Kenny. Oh, no. You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? I said we just wanted a little fucking time alone to say goodbye. <gasps> shh, shh, shh. It's okay, babe. It's okay. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna do what we gotta do. We're gonna play the shit hand that this shit world dealt us. Kenny, I'm so sorry about Sarita. You hear that, babe? Clem says she's sorry. Don't that make you feel better? <laughs> Don't do that to Clem. Being angry won't help anything. No, because it's sure as hell helping me. Is it? I tried to save look her. At her. I said, look at her. She is going to die. Because of you. Uh, what? <laughs> What are you talking you about? Little girl, you can just get people killed and no one will care. That because you're sorry, it'll all magically go away. That's not how it works. What the heck, Kenny? The last time, just leave us alone to say goodbye. Well, then where were you, hot shot? When she needed you? I'm going crazy, just sitting here not doing anything. Wow. Down, Mike. It's still early. Flem, how'd it go? Whatever, Kenny. And he's really mad at me. Clem, you can't just expect him to bounce back. That man's going through. At least you try. Still, doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're going to do now. We got no food, no water. It's getting damn cold, and we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. We thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike, Bonnie. <sighs> Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands too. What, suddenly you're pretending to be concerned? Seeing you people floundering the minute things don't go according to plan has just got me on edge, all right? Well, I don't exactly see you stepping up to help right now, either. 
We should go find Luke, Sarah, and Nick. If they're in trouble, we might be able to help them. Clementine's right. After everything, after all this, if there's any chance they're still alive, we need to take it. I'll go. Clem can come with me. Let's go on people's first pick. Thank you. Sorry, Listen, Kenny. Rebecca, if anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You don't think I'd need to. I don't know. But you better keep that close. Come on, Clem. I'm not mad at Kenny, though. I understand what he's going through. This is the third time, and that's hard. He's really r losing it, and I feel bad. I don't think he meant anything that he said to Clem. He's Look, just in the moment. I'm level with you. You should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. It didn't look good. You're probably right. Yeah. So, I wanted to talk to you, away from them. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart. But I still... I just gotta warn you. The group is cracking. I've seen it before. I and see it too. A lot of times, it's better to be on your own. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start turning on each other, turning on you. They're not bad people, but there have been problems before. I don't always agree with what they say or do. No. Neither do I. Look at Kenny. I don't even know where to begin with what a liability he is. And Rebecca's situation is not making things better back there. Air quotes situation. No, you're gonna get her broken decisions. Rebecca's just worried about her baby. I mean, wouldn't you be? I right. Bring a kid into this world. And like you said, well, it's her baby, not mine or yours. Right. For That's worth, your decision, not hers. Like most of the people in your crew, but groups fall apart. People get killed. Then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it, if you wanna. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but a walker will bite right through that. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You coulda. Aww. I'm sorry. always wanted a sister. I used to make my babysitter Sandra play a game that we were secret sisters. It was stupid kid stuff. You know, being a big sister is, well, it's funny. It's really easy to be mean. Oh? You know, hide her toys, make fun of her bad haircut. Give her the bad haircut. <laughs> I mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get Oh, it. no. I don't even know why. Why would you even do that? Right. What could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. <clears throat> Every summer, we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia. But the best part wasn't the rides. It was that nobody knew us there. And I'd... I'd pretend we weren't sisters, just friends. Aww. All right, jackpot. But these walkers got some good stuff. I guess we should search them. Why not? Yeah, we should check them out. But you know why, right? Only because they're fresh. Take a look. Old walkers are a waste of time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. 
But these ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. They might have useful stuff. We're learning from her. I love it. That one's not coming back. Let's see what else he's got. I'll check this one. Ew. Oh, bullets. I guess that's good. Hold on to him. Ammo's getting hard to come by, and things aren't going to get better. Very convenient. Aww. Find anything? John Sandusky. Driver's licenses. Two of them. Well, I guess some people just can't leave the past behind. Well, if that was the only photo he had of his wife, then yeah. Smart haircut. Thanks. So, has your crew always been so dysfunctional? You fit in there, but you weren't like them. It makes me wonder. I was with a different group before. That one worked better, I think. That was <laughs> kind of my haircut like this. That's it. I'm glad she noticed the haircut. That's awesome. File. These things are great. Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Amy always had one in her purse. Could jab my hand when I went reaching in. Never be too sure with these things. Here, give me a hand. I think that's what makes Clementine so awesome is since she's younger, people want to bond with her and they get really vulnerable with her. So you can learn a lot more about the side characters. They're Sarah's. Looks like your friend didn't make it. Oh no. Sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Wait a second. Sorry, Clem. Sarah? Sarah, are you there? Are you crazy? Walkers? Bandits? You've just announced our position to any of them out there. That's no way to find your friend. What if she's still alive? Look, Clem, I know what you want me to say, but... Oh, <gasps> She is here. Shit. Okay, come on. We gotta find a way in. Looks like She's no alive! But who has her, though? Nick. No. Look, he's your friend. You should do this. No. <gasps> Not Nick. I'm sorry, Nick. He was getting better. I was starting to really like him. Oh, <gasps> no. I'm sorry, Clem. Sarah or anybody needs to be put down. You gotta be ready for it. Oh no. No hesitation. Don't tell me that. You know that, right? It never gets any easier, does it? As in for me. That hatchet of yours seems to get stuck pretty easily. It's gonna get you killed. Here, use this. That's better? Yeah, I guess so. Very effective can do this I think it's a better idea to use both they don't sound too good clock is ticking I'm ready I know you are 
We need to get a better look. How about you get the close one, and I'll hop the fence to get the other. Okay, that works. Okay. That's scary. Don't use that. Use the hatchet. I would have took his knee out with the hatchet and then stabbed him in the head. Now watch this. Got a nice little addition to your arsenal. Okay. Take out the knees first. Then. Yeah, there we go. Knife in the back of its head when it's down. All right. I think just Get like her. What we've got on deck. Looks dead. It's gonna take some work to get over there. Yeah, I see that. Maybe we can run over here. Oh, it's not dead. Oh no. Kill it, Clem. There you go. Oh no, she's not go. Oh, 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 you gotta get over there. She's not okay. I got the knees. There you go. Hey, <laughs> we learned it today. I love it. You did the knee thing. Nice trick, huh? That's a lot of walkers. They look worked up about something. And what gets the interest of the dead? People. How do we get in? If we can make enough noise on this side, we can lure those walkers over here. Then we might just be able to go through that other trailer and get to your friends. What do you think of that? That sounds like a plan. I'm just making it up as I go along. Hey, you gotta improvise. If you think that's best? I'm with you. That's what Kenny said. What's going to grab their attention? I got oh, you. the car. Maybe there's an alarm. What's she going to say about this TV? Yeah, it does look pretty strong. I'm really scared for Sarah, man. Damn it, don't do this. That's good, but we need to keep it going somehow. Um... Maybe there's something else around here. What are you thinking? Oh, you could put his body on the horn. If we lean him on the horn, it'll keep honking and draw the walkers. Just like moths to a flame. Give me a hand. Smart. <sighs> That is pretty strong. Oh no! The knee thing, the knee thing! Yeah! Come on. Crap. We gotta move it. Clem is a certified killer. I love it. What? Go, 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 go. What is Jane about to do? Then try something else. Like what? You're gonna need to use more force than that. Put some muscle into it. I'll hold them off. Just get us in there. Oh crap. Hurry! Uh, 
I got it. Oh, let's go. Clem is amazing, bro. Help me block this. Hurry. We got it. We got it. We got it. Yes. Sarah, please. Who's out there? Luke. Clem? Oh, thank God. Did Nick find you? He made a run for it. Looking for help. I... I saw him outside. Look, he was out there, but we took care of him, you know. Fuck. Fuck. When I heard y'all banging through the door, I thought the walkers come to take what's left of us. Luke, are you all right? I'm, uh, I'm walking. I can't do much else, though. Sarah, she's another story. I... I don't know what to do about her. What's the matter? Is she help. bit? Oh no. Sarah, look. Look, it's Clam. See, it's just like I told you. They're okay. Sarah, come on. We we have to go now. Shit. Come on. We need to get out of here. Guys, we can't do this. We can't we can't we can't stay here. I don't know what to do. I can't snap her out of it. Okay, I tried to carry her, but I I guess Carver messed me up pretty good back there. I don't know. It was just after Carlos, she just lost it. Started running through the woods like a maniac. I, I chased her for I don't know how long, and then while well, she saw this mobile home made a beeline right for it. I'm just glad y'all are here. Oh my god. Out of the woods yet. What are we gonna do about her? We gotta do something. Maybe Clem can talk to her. Maybe she'll listen to me. Maybe. Listen, I, uh... We're gonna tear this place open pretty soon. We can't stay. So, we, we gotta get her up, or, or we gotta... Oh, no! I'm trying. I've been trying for hours. Got okay, let's stop talking about it. Let Clem well, talk to her. Sarah, it's me. Hi. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I guess that's not a good idea. Maybe it seems like you're all alone right now, but you're not. Yes, I am. What about Luke and Jane and me? We came here because of you. All of us in the group. We're your family now. <gasps> Crap, we're surrounded. Girl. What, what about the skylight? Oh, we got. Clem, there's no time. Clem. Listen, Jane might be right. When everything started, I met my friend Lee. He tried to help me find my parents. He protected me more than anyone else in my whole life. He died to keep me safe. I was so scared. But you're still here. Right. Because he taught me to be strong, even when I'm scared. Because he wanted me to live. And your dad protected you because he wanted you to live. He would still want that. Oh, I think she's she snapped out of it. Let's go. We got to get you some new glasses, though, girl. But get to the skylight now. Come on, I'll boost you. Oh, my God. Jane better not die here. Oh, what's going on back there? My ribs. We're going to need something to stand on. Luke, get over here. Help me hold this. OK, we got to find something to stand on. Uh, that box? Can we use this? It's not big enough. We can't use the crate. What? A the fridge. Forget it. That thing ain't budging. Find something else. The fridge, man. The fridge. What else is in here? God damn it. What? Ah, sideboard. Oh shit. Clem, you and Luke push. I'll hold this door shut as long as I can. Okay, ready? I'm 
three. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. So we have to use this? I didn't want to... I didn't want to ask for this because I was like, well, we're kind of using it. Clem! Clem, help her! Help Jane! Okay, 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 okay. Uh... What the... Okay, go, go! Get... Keep pushing! Go! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Jane better not die. Don't die, Jane, please. Come on, Clem, you got this. For Jane, for Jane. Oh, Jane, come on. Let's go. Yes, yes. Close that door. Luke, you Gotta first. hold him for a minute. Need you up top. Hurry, Luke. Okay, come on. Clem. Sarah, we have to go. Are you listening? I can't do it. Yes, you no, can. Clementine. If she doesn't want to go, you can't make her. Don't let her take you down too. No. No, 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 no. We got to convince her. I can't, I can't, I can't. Daddy, I'm... Don't make me leave you. Come on. Dying like this is stupid. You can't save her, Clem. We have to go. What do you mean? No. I know about this. Hurry up. <gasps> no. Clamp. Slap Please. her. Slap Come her. Move. <gasps> Clementine. I don't care if she remembers that. She's got to go. Come on, Jane. Come on, Jane. No. Get Jane. Oh, my God. Oh. <sighs> Gotta go. I don't care if she remembers that slap, bro. Come on. She was gonna die. Y'all saw that. I mean, Clem had to be mean there, I guess. I wasn't picking the right options. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh. Okay. Look, I hate to ask this, but are we there yet? <laughs> We're not far. Look, Sarah, you can get through this. We both will. But I'm not okay. Just try. Can you do that? She just needs a little time, Clem. Leave her be for a bit. I don't know about this. The way she is, she's gonna cause problems. What happened in there? When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then something changed. Look, I just, I'd seen that kind of thing before. I just didn't want to stick around for the bitter end. Was it your Sorry, sister? I, I don't mean to sound harsh. It's just the way things are. Does that mean you'd turn on me if I was hurt or something? No, I mean, Clem, I wouldn't have to. We have to stick together. And just because you got her out of there today doesn't mean you saved her. Trust me. I tried to save Jamie too, but she gave up. I just, I can't believe it. As soon as you guys said go, I was the first one up on the roof. I had already made up my mind. Luke, you can't let it eat away at you. Well, I can't forget it. I dragged my sister across four states. And every morning, she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her, or push her, or goddamn carry her if I had to. Yeah. Until this time, Walker's cornered us. Forced us up to the roof, and, and when they kept coming, I, I couldn't make her jump, couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted, and I left her there. Jumped to the next building over by myself. You left your sister? Jane, I'm really sorry. It killed me for a long time. 
But I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell, when all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Sarah was that way too. Jane? No regard for her own safety. Or ours. Sarah and Jamie aren't the same person. We don't know if she'll end up like that. Right. Even you can't just do change. that. Girl, please stop. I don't want to hear it. Come on. Let's get back to your friends. Yeah, she's right. People don't change. So if I'm hurt and injured, is she going to leave me like she thought she was going to leave Sarah earlier? Come on now. Let's not use that logic. Son of a bitch. You found him. Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself. To tell you the truth. If it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Sarah, how you doing, hon? That's okay, sweetie. Whenever you're ready. I'm just glad you're here. At least she has a familiar hey, face here with her. Where's Nick? <sighs> and Luke, too. How about we, uh, we go for a walk for a minute? Let's just give him some space. I have something I need to talk to you about, too. <laughs> No. No. <laughs> I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. But oh, I was no. hoping you might know. Does Luke know anything about babies? Has he I don't know, mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? Just uh... Penny had a family. He could help. Where is he? Did he leave? Oh. He brought Sarita in there not long after you left. I don't know if he's done it yet. I ain't seen him since. I don't think he's doing well. Uh, I'll go in there. Thank you, Clem. I really do think that might be best. <sighs> Uh, I'm a little nervous, but uh, let's do it. Oh, that scared me. Oh, why is this so scary? Oh, he must have done it. I wanted to check on you. Make sure you're okay. She didn't want me to wait, but I had to. In case by some crazy chance, she didn't come back. That beautiful face. So I waited. I thought maybe she'd be different. Sarita was a good person. I liked her. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death. Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating every day. Look, I mean, it's not wrong. Gotcha. Sarita, no peace, no rest. Let him talk. Just, just keep coming. Why the hell couldn't Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. That's not true. That's not true. You help me all the time. I need you. <sighs> I've seen you take care of yourself more than any three adults put together. But, uh, He's not wrong. For saying that. She has done that. Now, nah, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. 
Maybe one of the others can look at it for you. Oh shit. Does that mean what I think it does? Oh no, did her water break? Oh no. We should see what's going on. Rest in peace, Sarita. We love you. Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's going on? <laughs> Rebecca's water broke. Mm. Oh, Christ. We should... I don't know what we should do. Oh, fuck. That means the baby's coming, right? Penny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right, all right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her, too. Now you got no choice but to lock down and ride it out. It hurts more than before. Is something wrong? This place doesn't seem safe for a baby being born. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. Museum. Seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike. Think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay then. Kenny, you uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Sarah? Sarah? You just stay here with Rebecca and Kenny, okay? Clem... I know it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mac a hand looking at the museum, but... I was thinking, how do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much. And she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. I trust Jane. Yeah. I mean, I would have never made it back without her. Just something to think about. Okay. I mean, if she leaves, she leaves, right? Clean water, disinfectant. That all sound right? Don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. Maybe I should go with Jane. Better hurry and catch up then. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast and let's be careful. I mean, Jane has taught her a lot so far, so maybe it's a good idea to go with Jane. Not because we don't trust her, but just because I feel safe with her, you know? She knows what to do. Although we did have that mishap with Sarah. That was a little scary. Aw, what's she doing? Oh, hey. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Just a lot's happened today. And I don't know if... Well, it's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. Partner, don't let it get to your head. Let's go. Aww. Maybe Clem could be the sister she's always wanted. God knows we could use a break. Nobody could replace her actual sister, of course, but. I think this could be good for Jane. This gate's still locked, which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. Who knows what could be in there? Maybe there's still food. If it's locked, maybe there's still food. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hmm, maybe I can pick the lock. 
A nail file? Versatility is not overrated. <laughs> I like that. You know, uh, it wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand with this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. Do you think it'll be warmer in there? It's so cold out here. It'll keep the wind chill off at least. Better than nothing. We could use this cannon. You think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Oh. They fill them with cement so they're safe. Ow! Shit! You okay? Yeah. I think I almost had it. Keep looking. The Battle of Parker's Run? I don't think I've ever heard of that. Guess it's broken. Is that American Revolution or is that Civil War? Oh, I see Lincoln. Oh, Civil War. Here we go. Find anything? No, not even trash. Nothing else in there. You know, I'm sad that they didn't go somewhere else in Georgia, like Kennesaw Mountain. That's where I used to live. And like, I feel like that'd be the perfect place to like hide out. It was uh, once a Civil War battleground. It's a huge mountain. And in real life, there's a lot of buildings over there. I feel like it'd be a really cool place to hide out if you were in a situation like this. There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Sarah? Keep it in mind, though. Dane, there's someone coming toward us. They look like Sarah. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, wait. It's coming this way. Who no, it's just a guy with glasses. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so... Can we fight him? He'll be too risky. I didn't get a good look at him. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. Last thing we need is someone telling their friends about the new easy... He doesn't look in the dangerous. Maybe I can try talking to him. Good call. Shit. Oh, he's coming up. prosthetic leg or what the heck is he smuggling he's doing what um Ben did for the bandits I don't know if I should talk to him He's Russian. I just want to talk to you. What are you doing here? Nothing. I'm out of war. I'm going to war. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot anyone, especially Malinka Devochka, a little girl. You don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. Uh. Oh, nice. Ooh, that was down. slick. Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there.
Okay, Daniel Radcliffe, like <laughs> looking like Harry Potter out here. What we got in the bag? No, I have no more guns. I swear Whoa. to you, we just need to make sure. We need that stuff. Drugs. Anything? Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. Right. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry, and that makes those things come. Please. This medicine is all she has. If that medicine's for your sister, why are you hiding it in the garbage? I, uh, I need to keep it. I need to keep it safe. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No, you are not nice people. You have oh. already left me defenseless, and now you, you take my sister's medicine? You are Vuri. Hey, we've got people who are suffering. Who need this medicine? Maybe that's Luke's not right. Back after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it. Clementine, we need People that stuff. People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special. Bro, we can't have another station wagon incident, y'all. We can't, we can't do that again, bro. I am not going to hit episode five. And next thing you know it, this guy's got me chained up in a, in, a, in, a, in a bathroom or something like it's Saw. Like he's Jigsaw or something talking about, you remember those meds that you took from me? My sister really needed those. Now she's dead. Now I'm like, no, we're not doing that again. Absolutely not. Give that boy the meds. You must we don't believe me. a fucking word about your sick sister. Please don't make my sister suffer. She has been through enough. Oh, yeah? Well, I think you're just some junkie. You know what that word means, oh, huh? Oh, no, I'm, I'm telling the truth. I swear upon my own life. I don't believe any of this. I mean, he might even Medicine, need those meds. We don't know. Oh, no, no, no. You cannot take those from me. Maybe he'll give us some if we give the bag back. You're not taking them. I'm not no. robbing anybody. Just let him go. Thank you, Clementine. Thank you. Nah, Clementine, she can't be like Lee, man. Jane, no. What are you doing? No, oh, what are you doing? You don't have to do this. Just let me go. Jane, what are you doing? Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. Oh. All right, she agreed with me. Cool. I was a little nervous. It didn't seem like she was going to agree with me. I can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Threatening some stupid kid? We should go get everyone else. Yeah. Go get the others. I'm gonna get Aww. this place opened. Then we need to get moved in ASAP. All right. I think we made a good call there, though. What's Luke doing? I'm sorry, Clementine. Clem, Clem, hey. Any luck with that observation, Dick? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from me in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. God knows we could use a break. Jane and I were trying to open the gift shop and a stranger showed up. What? Shit. This is the last thing we need right now. What happened? Jane took his gun and scared him off. Well, I, uh, I'm glad you're okay. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah. She's trying to get the gift shop opened. You know, I can't figure her out. And she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I'm never quite sure if she just done like people, just plain out done like me. I like her. She doesn't like people. She's honest, and she knows what she's doing. Yep, that's more than I can say for some. Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just, he seems broken. Broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. 
at least started as a good guy. But I just think he's had to take more than he can handle. Are you any better? Is anyone? Well, wait, right. Hold on. I, I didn't mean... But it's true. I just want to survive. And that means picking the right sides. I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh, I'll see you back there. This is getting messy. I like that pink sky, though. That's pretty. I'm not supposed to be in labor yet, Kenny. What if something's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Babies know how to be born. <laughs> Come in time. What'd you find? Yeah, I asked the baby the other day. Has an observation deck. Somewhere the baby will be safer? It's coming so much faster than I thought. I told you, you're getting yourself all worked up over nothing. It's high up, so it should be safe from walkers. Sounds good. As soon as Mike and Bonnie are back, we'll go. Hey, Clem. Glad you made it back safe. How are you feeling? Scared. And it hurts. <laughs> I wish Alvin was here. Everything Alvin did was for you and the baby. Back at Carver's. In the office. He stayed behind to stop the people chasing us. He died to keep us safe. Jesus. Of course. Of course he did. I know it's a waste of time, but I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things I should have talked to him about. How am I ever going to do this without him? Alvin told me that he thinks the baby's going to be a girl. Oh, yeah? That big dummy never did have a sense for these things. <laughs> I've got a feeling this one's a boy. You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. Aww. Oh, shit. I got uh oh. This. We ain't seen Mike or Bonnie in a while, and I'm not saying I don't trust him, but I'd appreciate it if you went and checked up on him. Yeah, go By herself? I'll be fine. Oh, okay. Are you okay, Kenny? Sure. Why wouldn't I be? All right, then. We'll trust you on that, I guess. All right, Clem, let's do this. That's what's beautiful about the South. There's so much history, man. I thought you went with Jane. She didn't take off, did she? Take off? Why do you think she'd take off? Well, it's just a, a feeling. We found a place for Rebecca to have the baby. An observation deck with a gift shop. It's way up high and pretty safe from the wind. Oh, that's great. Just give me like 10 more minutes to search around. He doesn't want to go back empty-handed. What? I just want to help. Keep one eye on the woods while we're in here. I don't want nothing sneaking up on us. I watch this side, you watch the other. Deal. Jane said these don't work anymore. Nah, they're just for show. Be handy though. Also really loud. Good point. They do have some for reenactments though. Souvenirs, huh? But I don't know if those work either, though. Your name on it? No. Why would I want a keychain? I don't even have any keys. Ah, oh, good point. You could put other things on a keychain, though.
You think maybe they say that stuff about water and blankets just to get people out of the way? Oh, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. And you didn't have to come with me. No, I wanted to. Never mind. Empty. Are y'all bonding? There have sure been some animals through here. Watch where you sit. I sure hope we can find something to take back. Me too. Yeah, we don't have medicines. Any luck? No, not so much. Unless you want some broken glass. I don't know what a place like this would even have, to be honest. I don't think anything that useful. Leave Other than some you. knowledge. I sure don't like being near a graveyard with the world the way it is now. The way things are now. You're in a grave. Do you see anything good? Not so far, but let's give the place a good going over. There's a coat. Hey, look at this. An old coat. Nice. Good find, Clem. You should hang on to that. It's gonna get a lot colder before it starts getting warmer. Penny said we need blankets. It's not really a blanket, but... But it should do the trick. Good call. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. I feel so bad about everything that happened. Hopefully you won't always think of me like that. Not that I blame you if you did. I haven't always used the best judgment. It seems like you're with us now. That's what matters most. Aww. Clem found a jacket. Clem always knows what's to, what great, to say. But, uh, isn't Gray the, you know... Uh, yeah, I'm not wearing that. We can't put Rebecca in a confederate coat. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Uh, I guess it's better than nothing, though. I'm just saying, but I mean, come on. Desperate times call for desperate measures, you know? I guess we got to put that aside for now. Can we go in here? How come nobody else thought to open this up? Oh, uh, <gasps> there's water in there. Here. Water. That's water useful. Flame. That's just what we need. It's uh -oh. locked. You want to kick it down? That'd make an awful lot of noise. Yeah, maybe. You know, if somebody was small enough, they could maybe squeeze through that gap there i wonder who I could try to pry it open some more but i don't know if that'll help much no i mean maybe all right all right i'll go thanks <laughs> just open the door from the other side michael carry those things out might be a bit heavy for you <sighs> i'm stuck okay Maybe I push from. Oh! No, 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 no! That wasn't a good idea. Dang, he pulled a lead there. You saw that? Well, that happened. I'm not as small as I used to be. Joseph. Thanks, Mike. Yeah. No problem. I'm so sorry about that, Clementine. We should have been more careful. At least now we got something to bring back. I'll keep checking the other room. Let's get this water. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to carry that up. No. There ain't no way. Hey, I got this. Oh, the disappointment. 
Aww. That looks pretty heavy. Uh, that's all right. I know it looks like a lot, but we could all go through this pretty quick. Carver was crazy, but at least his shelves were always full. We're gonna have to be conservative as hell. You're right. I thought it looked like so much. That baby's gonna be hard on everyone, especially Rebecca. And between you and me, she's not looking too good. Hey, guys. Don't say that. Come on. Stick close. I just walked on in like it owned the place. Figure it'd make a nice meal. We can eat raccoon? I'd eat the shit out of that raccoon. Not like, I mean, <laughs> just, just that I'd be really happy to eat that raccoon. I am starving. Fresh meat would go a long way with Rebecca. Yeah. Shoot! Don't let it get away! Oh. Where is it? Went over there. Over here. There it is. Get that thing. Oh, oh. Get Shoot. it, get it. Dang it. Not with the walkers out there. Oh, it's got kids. before how did i get to a place where i'm sad i'm not eating raccoon well at least it was kind of fun yeah huh i guess it was come on let's just get this back to rebecca and the others we don't have much time to waste i saw what a lot of you guys were saying about the dog in the me, last video tired. nope that made me upset too. Shit, shit. Oh god. Read like I told you. Okay. 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 What is she doing? Uh-oh. Walkers. Oh god. Oh no. We got to get out of here. Clem. Clementine. Shit. Walkers. I think it that close without anyone seeing them. That was Luke. Kenny, we've got to do something. Uh oh. You just keep that baby safe. Kenny? You're not going to pull a bin. Clementine, where's the place you and Jane found? I'll show you. Good. Someone help me up. Oh, God. There's so oh, many. Oh, crap. Uh, gotta get out of here. I'm not dying like this. Here they come. Mike, get Sarah. On it. Get going. And we're going to miss out on the water. You can't get the water too. <laughs> Kenny's about to go out as a hero. I don't think he's okay. He's losing it. I mean that that isn't <laughs> Let's go, please. He's doing it. <laughs> sure, but uh... Damn it. Are we just going to lose out on the water just because of Sarah? No way. He could have picked up the water and helped Sarah. Thanks, Kenny. I don't think he's lost it just yet. They need to calm down. Obviously, he's mad because Sarita just died. Do they not remember that? It was about as human as I've felt in a long time. I almost forgot what... Clementine! G Jesus, Clem. It's just not... Um... A baby's about to be born and y'all want to give handies right now? Oh, heck nah. Come on. We were just... What's going on? Well, uh, I mean... In here. Let's get you comfortable. 
What the fuck are you two doing up here? Penny, what's going on? We got God knows how many walkers out there, which you were supposed to be keeping an eye out for. Hey, hold on a second. Just tell me what's going on. What's going on is you're a reckless fucking moron. I'm reckless. You know, you got a lot of nerve, Kenny. Oh, God. Oh. Shit, is she, uh... Luke, shut up. I didn't... No! <laughs> Fuck. I'm sorry. Shit. Right over Shit. here. Uh. They're coming up the stairs. Here. Uh, we should. You want to help? Get out there and keep the walkers off us. I'll do this. I've been here before. They can't rush us on the stairs. Shoot them before they get to us. Shit, that's a lot of them. We need everyone out here. Stay out of the way, okay? I'm going outside. I'll help hold them back. Go. I've got Rebecca. Here they come. Here. Sarah's about to do something up. dumb. You got this, Clem. But Sarah might do something smart. You never know. This is a moment. There are too many of them. Shit! Keep shooting! They are not getting up here! Oh no. Find something to block this gate! Help us! Maybe the cannon? Block the gate with this! I'll help, I'm coming. Get Ready? Go now. Shit. Holy fuck. What the fuck is going on out there? Dude, somebody's gonna fall. Get back! Get back! Oh! Shit. oh. Is that Sarah? Oh, oh no! No! Dude, they're gonna do what I think they're gonna do! No! Come on! <laughs> Take my hand. Oh no. There's nothing we could have done. We could never have gotten her up here. I know. But I wish it could be different. Climbing up. What? You're gonna make it up here. Fuck! What a horrible decision to have to make there. That was so dumb. But right there in that moment, I was thinking to myself, like, but who's more useful? You know what I mean? I know that sounds so messed up, but it, we're in a zombie apocalypse. It's like, who's more useful? Sarah, who's holding the group back, right? What has she done for us? She's done zero. Or Jane, who's done a lot. She's taught us how to hunt. She has all this knowledge about the zombie apocalypse and just a lot of different things. It's like, you know what I mean? It's kind of... Uh... Does this shit ever end? It's like survival of the fittest, man. Well, we need to break the rest of the deck. She's right. She's right. Drop the whole deck. Drop the... Are you fucking crazy? How are we gonna do that? I don't know, just look around. Come on, Nathan Drake, do something. This ain't working. That's not gonna work. Oh, this right here. Or the rope part of it. Look. That'll work. We bust that, the whole thing comes down. Boost me. They're getting closer. Clementine! Move it! Come on! I'm going as fast as I can. Shut up and Watch hit! It. Son of a bitch! Oh. That's not a good situation. Oh, the baby. Oh, <gasps> aww. A boy. God. 
Wait, but it's no, 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 no. There's no crying happening. Oh, wait, 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 wait. W. What a win. Man, we lost Sarah, but we gained a new member. Dang. What a horrible situation. I want to cry. Hey, Clementine. Hey. How's he doing? He's perfect. Who's a perfect little man? Who's the most perfect little man in the whole world? You are. That's right. You are. He looks like Alvin. You think so? Definitely. Thank you. <coughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. Just wish I could get warm. Clem, why don't you give her that coat we found? Clementine's like, from one light skin to the Sorry, next? You know. About the color. You really that baby's got two that? black parents. <laughs> Do you want to hold him? Uh, yeah. Could I? Of course. Your family. Here. should rest especially you when's the last time you slept Kenny oh, about two years ago I'm fine but well, somebody's got to watch you while mama gets your beauty sleep oh forget that smell maybe that's what he needed He seems a lot happier, a lot more down to earth now that there's a child. Probably reminds him of Duck. Ah, oh, shit. What are you doing? Listen, I'm sorry. I've got to go. Come on. The longer I stay, the harder it'll be. You're going to leave after I saved you? Yeah. I just sacrificed you for Sarah. That's what it is. Go. I sacrificed Sarah Go for you, there. I mean. Just away, okay? What? You know, Jamie, Sarah, I'm not going to stick around and watch it happen to you too. You know the score. You're a smart kid. No. But... I thought you believed in me. I do. But give it enough time, and everyone's luck runs out. Listen, when the shit hits the fan, because it always does, remember that you can make it on your own. It's not an option for everyone. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. You don't owe them anything. They'll make you feel like you do. Like it's all one happy family. When push comes to shove... Can... can I go with you? No, you can't. That's not how this works. You take care of yourself. I mean that. Here. Versatility is not overrated. Thanks. Yeah. I, um... Uh, I gotta go. <laughs> no! I like Jane! Hey, 
Thought you'd be asleep by now. You okay? I'm fine. Okay. Good. <laughs> Hell of a night, though. The temperature's dropping. We're low on food. I think we gotta stay put for a while. You know, for Rebecca and the baby. So I'm thinking as soon as it gets light, Jane and I should go explore, see if we can find some place to scavenge. Jane. What? Jane left. For good. What? When? Just now. Are you serious? She didn't say anything about leaving to me? What the fuck? Damn it! Hey, keep it down. Sorry. I... Sorry. Just... Jane's gone. Really? Luke? Of all the childish bullshit. Childish? God damn it, Kenny. You know what? Just lay off. No, you put our lives, this baby's life at risk, so you two can roll around like fucking teenagers. Look, I made a mistake, all right? No, it's not all right. What do you want from me? Kenny's just trying to protect the group. Well, coming down on me isn't helping. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I fucked up. But you know what, Jane? She made an offer, and Jesus Christ, I needed it, okay? I mean, look around you, okay? Everything is shit. So forgive me for wanting to enjoy one moment of something else. Fine. No. But this baby, he's what matters now. Got it? So get your shit Kenny, together. Where's my baby? Is everything all right? Everything is fine. We're gonna need a good place to raise him, which ain't here. We gotta push on. We head north, get to Wellington. That's our best shot. There's a town across the river. It might be safe there. Or at least it might be a good stop on the way. Penny! I'm sorry. Clem's got a point. That could be a whole town full of supplies, and not that far from here. A whole lot better than here, anyway. Looks like that's our best bet. We need to get on the road as soon as possible. We leave at first light. Whoa, whoa! What are you talking about? <laughs> Rebecca needs rest. A few days, at, at the least. We've got that baby formula. And it won't help the rest of us. And what about shelter? We'll freeze out here. Luke's right. She needs to rest. We should wait a few days. Maybe that's for the best. We don't want to push Rebecca too hard. Just give me a day or two, Kenny. I'll be fine. This is a mistake. But we should all try to get some sleep. It's been a long day. <laughs> Bro, she looks horrible. Sorry. Okay, Bex. It's gonna be all right. <laughs> all right, I guess we're pushing on. She's exhausted. We all are. I can keep going. She's got that Confederate coat on. Yikes. We should have left right away instead of waiting around. We could have found more food and been someplace warm days ago. We did the right thing. She was in no condition to move. She's worse now. We could still turn back. It's not an option. Everybody hang in there. We got to keep moving if we're going to make it to that town before nightfall. You don't even listen to anyone else. You just go on barking orders. You got to lighten up. Okay, you're pushing them too hard. I'm just doing what has to be done. Like always, keeping people alive. You're not helping anything by arguing. Well, don't forget you agreed with me about waiting to leave camp until today. <gasps> oh no. Well, we wanted to let her rest. Rebecca, 
Let me take the baby. Oh, it's okay. I've got him. No, you rest for a minute. I'll wash him. Back off, Kenny. She said she doesn't want you to take the baby. Don't be weird about it, okay? I ain't being Shh. weird about it. Yeah, you kind of have been. And not just right now. You should listen to Luke. It's Rebecca's decision. I was just trying to help. But it's true. Well, it's not your baby. What is this? Who is that? Yes, listen. Oh, it's that guy. Arvo. Arvo. Dane and I met him on the observation deck before everyone else came. That's the guy. You know this. So he much? might help us. Well, what do you want? He's got medicine. He doesn't look like much. That ain't the point. Hello. Please. I don't like this. He has a sick sister. They might be in trouble. All right. He has medicine. Tell him that. Clem? That might be a good thing to know. Oh, no. Kenny, Hello. don't do anything crazy. Your name is Clementine. Yes? Hi, Arvo. These are your friends? I'm hoping you can help me now. Not like before. All of you can help. How is your sister doing? Sister? Not so good. I need, uh, uh, things for bandages. I need bandages. Are you hurt? No. Nikaki Arushi! Nikaki Arushi! Nikaki! Oh, man, not the Russians, bro. I, uh, I should have took your medicine, bro. Come on. I'm trying to give people the benefit of the doubt. Come on, Harry Potter. You couldn't hit me with a Wingardian Leviosa and helped me out? Lift me up. I need hope. The Arushi. Fuck. God. We're cooked. Is that your sister? <laughs> yeah, but we helped you, bro. Tell them that. We don't want any trouble. I told them you are the ones who robbed me. Robbed? It's funny that you're just a little girl. Robbed? And they want you and your friends to put down the guns. So we you lied! Whoa, whoa, hang on now. What the hell? Why get excited? Clementine. You robbed this guy? No! It wasn't me who took your stuff. It was Jane. It, it wasn't any of us. Jane. Where's the other woman? She left. I do not see a woman who was with you. Where is she hiding? What's going on? She's gone. She left the group. It's a trap. I know it. And you pretty sir. Yes, no, she hey. Yo, chill. Oh, we're cooked. This can be easy for you. Arvo, All of you, just put your guns down. This will be fine. Find my ass. Lucy, Arvo. But you oh, crap, Kenny. We have a baby. You have a baby with you? We need a baby with you. Is it this nice to her shot at him? We didn't steal anything. I didn't steal nothing. Drop that now or I'm gonna fucking shoot it. I should have stole something. Don't even try it, motherfucker. Don't fucking I guarantee I'm a better shot than you are. I'll drop you both before you can blink. Everybody be cool. This doesn't have to go down. Oh no. Don't kill him. But you don't do you hear me? I will kill you if I have to. No! Somebody was gonna die. The baby was in her hand.
What was I supposed to do? What if she would have ate the baby? I had to protect the baby. This game is stressful. <laughs> this game is so, is so stressful. Ugh. Left there at the trailer park. I was in the minority. Robbed Arvo. Okay. So some of you guys say you guys a lot of you guys left Sarah you left her to die that's crazy crawl through ticket booth window 50% held the baby okay shot Rebecca I was in the minority for that too hmm dang people must not like Sarah <laughs> previously on the walking dead okay I skipped the next episode preview because I think those are spoilers so I don't want to be spoiled for episode five I only need a minute I don't like them we can get the recap. I don't care about the recap. Then. When I look at Kenny now, he just, he seems broken. Broken people get reckless. Here. Thanks. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. Everybody be cool. God. So what happened? Did everybody die or what? Then somebody got shot in that. Did Kenny die? Because Kenny might have died. I could see him dying there, but I don't know. Maybe our group are good at shooting. Who knows? How did Clementine not die? Are they running? Oh no. Oh no. Did Clementine get shot? No, she didn't. Mike! Nathan Drake's still alive. Where's Kenny? Fuck you. You oh, he's still alive. Why they got AK? Oh, the baby, bro. The baby. So nobody's dead, though, other than Rebecca. But. Bro, I got to get that baby. I don't care. Oh, be careful. Cover me. Hey, what are you doing? The baby. What you mean? What am I doing? Get behind cover. No, the baby. I had to get the baby. I didn't even see him out there. Well, yeah, you didn't. Shit. Okay. Okay, we gotta do something, y'all. Get down here. Can't just sit here and let this guy take pot shots at us till he runs out of ammo. Just stay down. You're gonna get your head blown off. We can't just sit here. This don't have to get any worse than it already is. You can just go. English, motherfucker. <laughs> I kill every one of you. This is so Grand Theft Auto right, right now. I can maybe get an angle on this guy. Cover me, all right? Shoot over towards the woods. It'll give him something to think about. Just long enough for me to make it over there. Yeah, okay. Good. I just need the distraction. Okay? All right. On my go. The shoot, the shoot. Hey, what are you? Oh, oh what the? Luke, no! Uh. Got him. What? How did I miss? Luke, are you okay? He got me in the leg, but I think it went straight through. Shit, I don't know. I'm gonna be fine. I think I'm gonna be fine. 
All right, well, good job, Uncharted. What do we do now? Oh, good idea, Kenny. Nah, screw that kid. Kenny, what are you doing? I'm ending this. Get out here. Now that's smart. That kid put us in this mess. He he lied on my name. He said I stole his stuff. I robbed him. Oh no. Kenny! Kenny! Look behind you! Oh wait. I had to do it. She was dead. What are you talking about? Oh, she's here. Jane, let's go. Let's go. God. That's dramatic. God, Kenny. Safe to come out. Here, I got him. Bonnie's good. Everybody's good. Is Mike good? Yeah, he's good. He's walking. I don't know how we got out of that, but it worked. Jesus Christ. That was, uh, that was intense. I thought. Man, I thought that was it. Yeah, it was for these assholes. Thanks for coming back. I didn't know this man. I never killed someone that didn't wrong me in some way. That didn't deserve it. I tried to pretend he was a walker. But it's different. I didn't think it would be. But it is. You saved us. Yeah. That's why I did it, but it felt wrong. At least we know she's not crazy. You can still leave, you know. There's nothing holding you here. I sort of wish that was true. Let's go. I'm happy. She's back. How did this happen? She turned. Just like that. Clem spotted it first. Did what she had to to protect the child. This isn't your fault, okay? She just... She just lost too much blood. That's what it was, yeah. It ain't nobody's fault. I was thinking about that so back at the... Life. You know, we could have done better. Wow. She was just... Too far gone. She would have been a good mom. Yeah. Yeah, she would have. Don't worry, Becca. We'll take care of your boy. You rest <sighs> easy. Hey, what you doing? You piece of shit! Hey, hey! Stop. Don't turn into Carver. Stop! It's over, man. He ain't a threat to us. How can you say that? Of course he is. Get out of the way! Whoa! What are you doing? I'm doing the same thing this asshole tried to do to us! It doesn't have to go down like that. Kenny, please! He's just a scared kid, man. Kenny, his his sister is dead. He's lost enough already. You don't have to do this. There is house, food. Please. Please, I can take you. Bullshit! No, no. It's true. We have place. Not far. Food. See? He wants to help. Oh, don't be stupid. He's just trying to save his skin. Why the hell would you help us, huh? I, I now want to see more people dead. Then close your eyes and I'll make it quick. Kenny, Ooh. back off. If he's telling the truth, it could save all of us. And if it's a trap, we'll all be dead. We need the food. None of this will matter if we all starve to death. She's right, Kenny. We're running low on supplies as it is. It's worth the risk to check this place out. Trust him, don't trust him. It doesn't matter. We should go anyway. We just need to be careful. It can't be far from here. 
You stay out of this! You're the reason these fuckers came after us in the first place! Don't try and pin this on me. Lay off, Kenny. She just helped us. Look, don't start, all right? I'm sure you're real excited to have your girlfriend back. I was there with her. It's my fault, too. Think about the baby, Kenny. If there are supplies, we need them. We ain't gonna last much longer without more food. We and the baby's not chance. either. Unless someone's got a better plan. We got something to tie this shit bird up. Yeah, I got something. Follow me, I thank you. Just give me a reason. Yeah, man, he gets it. I had to take a big sip there because... I know you're probably pissed about me leaving. When I heard the gunshots, I... I knew it was a mistake. This is a mess. If it helps, the thing I'd normally do is walk away for good. But I didn't. Despite what my instincts are telling me. Despite everything. <laughs> so what, you want a cookie? I'm dead. I'm not pissed. I'm glad you're back. I didn't want you to go in the first place. Thanks. That's... That's good. Because you're probably 90% of the reason I came back. Aww. And it'd probably get pretty annoying if you hated me the whole time. Wouldn't want it to be annoying. No. I bet. So is the other 10% Luke Nathan Drake slang? You were playing with his third leg over there, girl. Like, what was what was going on? Like, <laughs> we're kind of curious. That like, what's up with that? I'm going to try to make this work. All I can do is promise you I won't abandon you again. Which, to be fair, I've never done before. Even though I probably should have. A few times now. You don't gotta point the gun at him the whole time. Forget what we just went through? He ain't going anywhere, Kenny. No need to get your arm all sore. I'm worried about Kenny. He's... He's in a dark place. We gotta keep an eye on him. Yeah, we do. Everything he's been through. He's lost. It's changing him. Yeah, I've noticed that too. You're the only one that he trusts. That he really trusts. That means you're the one that's gonna have to pull him back. He's counting on you. If we're really going to make this work, we're all counting on you. I'll do my best. I know. Come on, slow pokes! Dang, we don't even know what the little boy's name is. He didn't even get a name. I kind of wish it was a girl though, because Clementine always said that she wanted a sister. And that would have been nice. Wait, we need to stop. No. No, I'm I'm fine. Hey, I just need a second. Sorry, I just I just put more weight on it than I should have. All right, wait there. Hey, what I say? When I tell you something, you fucking listen. You understand? Penny, come on. There's no need for that. He's getting what he deserves. I'm fucking talking to you. I say stop. You'd best stop, if you know what's good for you. Kenny! He understands. Just fucking stay put. I'm gonna have a word with Kenny. He doesn't have to treat him that way. Kid's been through enough. You all right here? Yeah, yeah. Go on and talk to him. I got clam if I need anything. Okay. Here, just take the baby. Uh, okay. What is it with you guys? What do you mean? Every man I've known is always trying to let each other know how tough they are. Right. Put them in their place. Bunch of dominant alpha male horse shit. And it all ends the same way. But don't look at me. 
I ain't that guy. Oh, that ain't true. You get in your fair share of piss and matches, too. Do I? Are you kidding me? Yes. I guess I should work on that. They're just scared. That's when it happens. When they don't know what to do. <sighs> yeah, that makes sense to me. <laughs> guess it took a woman to talk some sense into him. Looks like Jane broke it up. Keep pressure on it, okay? I'm gonna go fetch some bandages. Yeah, she's not wrong. The men in this chapter have been kind of... Hey, Bonnie. Yikes. Yeah? I'm sorry. For what? I'll be right back. How are you feeling? If I'm being honest, uh, I've been better. How did we get here? What? What do you mean? Sitting in the snow, leaning up against a tree, bullet in my leg, but alive. <laughs> and so many of my friends are dead for no good reason, and I couldn't do anything to stop it. Everyone we set out with just gone. Nick, Pete, Alvin, and Becca, Carlos, Sarah, and for what? They didn't die in vain. I wish I could believe that. I could have done more, and that ain't up for debate. I know it in my bones, and I gotta live with it. All right, this should work. That's perfect. What I miss? Hmm? Uh, nothing much. You know, complaining mostly. Trying to guess how far this place is. I'd like to get off this leg sooner than later. I was just mentioning how cold it is lately. Yeah. Good thing he got that cool jacket, huh? Oh my god, this girl in this dang jacket. I'm I swear to god, I want to burn it. Out with a little soap and water. I'm fine. Hey, Clem, go over and see if you can change the bandages on Kenny's wound. I offered, but I don't think he was comfortable with me doing it. But you know him better than I do. Maybe he'll let you do it. They really need changing. Okay. I had a girl. That's gonna sting, but only for a second. It's gonna clean it. Oh, I know what it does. It's gonna suck. It's gotta get done. <laughs> Clem's like, I've been there, done that, girl. Trust me. This lady in this dang jacket. I hate this jacket now. <laughs> I absolutely hate this jacket, bro. I was thinking we'd go with Alvin Jr. What do you think? Oh my Rebecca goodness. She'd like to name him Alvin if it was a boy. I mean, Rebecca was so out of it she hadn't settled on her name. It seems fitting. I think his parents would have liked that. AJ? Yeah. Me too. That'd be cool. Well, AJ. Here it is. Do you like that? Well, I think AJ approves. Yeah. Got there. Because I think I'm all right. I mentioned it earlier. Bonnie, I told her I'm fine. Can I change your bandages? You shouldn't have to do stuff like this. Shouldn't have to do a lot of things. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Let's get it over with. Hopefully it don't scare this little guy. Or you. Oh, do I have to look at that? Can we pan the camera? Oh, man, the game. Yeah, okay, that's all I want to see. That right there, the side profile. Ooh, oh, it's not that bad. Be pretty when this heals. I'm I'm so sorry, Kenny. That bad, huh? You ain't got nothing to apologize for, Clementine. This wasn't your doing.
it's gonna hurt, homie. He knows it is. So, I'm guessing this is gonna be the shitty part. It might sting a little. You think? <laughs> Holy fucking hell. You need to stop squirming. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yo. Okay. You're right. Clementine. <sighs> Sorry about the language, Junior. You're going to be tougher than me when you're grown. I'm going to expect you to be more of a gentleman than I am. Man, does that smart. Maybe he won't need to be that tough by then. He'll grow up fast enough in all this. Yeah. You were right about me giving myself up. I can't believe I was willing to sacrifice Alvin just to hold out a little longer. We should have saved him sooner. Got him out of the camp. See, Kenny's all right. About that. Every time I look at Alvin Jr. The baby really helped him. Alvin should be here raising this boy. It should be him, not me. The best thing you can do for Alvin and Rebecca is raise him right. Make sure he's safe. I intend to. Aww. God dang it, I'm crying. All done. Thank you, sweetie. Yep. Are we ready to go? Let's it's almost out. like Kenny's getting a second chance at Duck, and it's amazing. <laughs> That's good for him. He needs that. <laughs> oh my god. This is one of those games, man. This is probably one of the best interactive games I've played. I'm talking to you. What? Interactive movie it's, games. It's what? What do you mean, what? The place you're fucking taking us. He doesn't speak much English. No shit. Is that it? I thought you said it was a house. Arvo, we're not trying to be mean to you. We just want to know if this is where the supplies are. Is this the place you're taking us? Are the supplies here? No, it's at the house. It's still more work. Some more hours. God damn it. I knew this was going to happen. This guy fucked us. Uh, thank you. Don't mention it. It's getting dark. Maybe we should stop for the night. This is bullshit. Relax. Don't tell me to relax. He's lying. He's been lying this whole time. You don't fucking know that. I know we've been walking all day and we're still fucking nowhere. Luke needs a break. We probably all do. Look, I'll do whatever you guys want. Okay, but I could use the rest. It'd be safer to rest in there, where there's a fence. Yeah, good point. Can we just try and have a calm, quiet night? Please. That sounds nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. If we're staying, we should scout this place out. All right. Y'all wait here. I'll go make sure this ain't some walker nest we're locking ourselves into. I'll go with you. Uh, see if, uh, see if you can calm him down a bit. Yay. No, that's all you. <laughs> hey. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. That baby does look like Alvin. I think he likes you. Calmed right down for you. That's a good sign. He's cute. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Most babies are pretty ugly this soon after being born. That's hey, true. yo! They usually look like weird little aliens. Here, I got him. <laughs> Come on over. It's safe. <sighs>
Today's Kenny really birthday. loves that baby. Oh, wait, what? Here as I can tell, at least. How old is he? This week. Happy birthday, Luke. Yeah, man. Happy birthday. Thanks. So, that makes you... What? 27? That's that's right. I'm surprised you remembered. He's that old? He'll feel a lot older. Don't even start with that shit. Got out of college five years ago. Feels like a million years. At least I don't have to worry about paying off them student loans. I hear that. I'm sure there's some asshole sitting on that paperwork waiting to collect. Probably. <laughs> I'd have liked to go to college. It's okay, Joe Biden's got you. What did you study? Majored in art history. Oof, you ain't getting no jobs. <laughs> Sounds like you majored in working in a coffee shop. <laughs> hey, hold on. Why we gotta be so real right now? I'm glad I'm not the only one that said it. You get a minor in agriculture. Keep the old man happy. Oh, I almost forgot. I was saving it for a special occasion, and while it being your birthday and all, figure this is as good a time as any. I'd like a sip. I'd like a sip. I mean, after you, obviously. Really? No. Oh, what's oh. a sip gonna hurt? You are not drinking. That is that. What a dad mode. <laughs> a little guilty taking the first. Oh, uh, wait. You got to make a toast. I'm not really the. Uh, Come on, birthday boy. It don't have to be fancy. A toast means we all got something to drink. Oh, we can just pass the bottle around afterwards. Go on. <clears throat> to the loved ones that we've lost along the way. And to the hope that we see them again, someday. Here, here. That was real nice. Yeah. I didn't mean for it to rhyme. That was. Well, I got first watch. I think the fence has got us pretty secure. Can't be too careful. Baby might be cold. Nah, I'll keep him warm. He's a tough little guy. Come on, Kenny. At least have a drink. Ah, maybe later. Clem. Let him go. I'm going to post up over near the hole in the fence there. Holler if you need anything. Thanks, Kenny. Well, that's good because he had that arc where he was drinking a lot. Fire's real nice. Plenty of room if you want to get warm. Maybe in a bit. I didn't expect her to come back. Just when I thought I got her figured out, she up and surprises. The good thing, you saved our ass. I know, I know. I just don't know what she's getting at all this. We're lucky to have her. I'm glad she's here. Well, she helped us back there. So that puts her as okay in my book. Well, it ain't no secret how you feel about her. Right. She okay. helped you a lot back it there. Season. It was stupid. I understand. She's a pretty girl. Once you. Get past all the dirt and guts. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to forget about all this shit for like 10 minutes. Ten that's all you lasted? Uh, that's longer than I'd last at this point. Hey. All right. All right. We'll <laughs> 10 minutes. Come on. We got a little one around. Sorry. Forget I said anything. It's my fault for bringing it up. That's gross. Yes, <laughs> it is, Clem. We shouldn't be talking about it. Right. Maybe she came back for you. Could be. I don't know what to say to that. I'd come back for you. You know what I mean. <laughs> Thank you, Clem. I do the same. Luke's a regular Casanova. Hey, shut up. Don't be modest. Your moves are working on all the ladies. Worked on me. I just did it too, didn't I? What in Sorry. the world? It's the drink talking. They say a drunk man. Bro, who didn't you bang in this group? Well, I ain't a man, so they can take that shit somewhere else.
Clem, go see if you can get Jane and Kenny over by the fire. It's too cold for them to be out there like that. Oh, and here, maybe a swig of this will change their minds. Can I talk to them some more or no? Offer rum. Ugh, rum is nasty. They expect you to lure me over there with alcohol? I wouldn't have expected a bottle to last this long. Probably been a while for everyone. We just want you to feel welcome. It's warm over by the fire. What is it? It's rum. I don't know. It, it might be awkward. I wasn't expecting to... You know, be around. It doesn't have to be. We're all adults here. Are we now? <laughs> you know what I mean. Mature or whatever. I wish it was that easy. It is. People just love making it harder than it has to be. Mm. Why does this feel like I'm signing a contract or something? That's really good. Have you no, it's not. You want to sit? It's okay. It just might burn a little. I'll feel it in your nose. Um, sure. Kenny gonna be mad. <laughs> you okay? It's not as bad as the moonshine stuff I had with Nick. Whoa. Yeah, that stuff was like fire. Uh oh, busted. I better uh -oh. take that back. I wasn't too much older than you when I had my. Did she just drink, drink invisible rum? I was so stupid back then. There was this time I broke into my parents' liquor cabinet and drank a whole bottle of this really spicy, sweet liquor. Oh, what was its name? I was dumb. Earthquake or something. Sounds like you were a bad kid. I guess I was. She talking about fireball? At the bottom of the bottle, there were these sugar crystals, and I got it in my hand. No, I guess not. I really wanted to eat a couple. So I got the bright idea to smash it on my parents' dining room floor to get at him. And it shattered into a thousand pieces <laughs> all over the dining room. That was smart. I proceeded to eat what I thought was sugar candy. It was not sugar candy. Did you ever get caught? Yeah. The problem with glasses, it looks a lot like sugar crystals. I bet. It's never really been a problem for me. Keep it that way. I know that hurt. My sister found me, drunk, blood pouring out of my mouth. Jamie thought I was dying, so she called 911. They pumped my stomach. Got grounded for six months. Holy shit. <laughs> I haven't thought about that in a long time. Something about Clementine cussing is great. I guess a deal's a deal. Here. That guy needs a drink more than any of us. Time to not make it weird. She ate glass, though, imagine. Ouch. Want to sit here? No, that's... I'm fine. Uh, yeah, okay. Wherever you like. That's cute. I miss TV. Feels like forever since we had electricity. I bet. Air 
there, there, little guy. Shh. Shh, I got you. I got you. Hey. Oh, hey, Clem. I asked you not to drink. Oh, my God. Girl your age? It ain't right. I know you think you're older, but you're not. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to disappoint you. You're not, hon. <sighs> okay, so here's my issue with Kenny right now, right? So Clementine can do all this other stuff. Kill zombies, make decisions on killing people. Uh, you know, do dangerous things like that. But she can't take one sip of alcohol. Like, what is going through our minds right now? This is the zombie apocalypse. Like, let's get over that. Probably not my place to be telling you what to do. It's a nice night. Just, uh, needed some air. Kenny, there's air everywhere. <laughs> I'm sorry for, for how I acted back there after Sarita was, I just, I, I couldn't handle it. I'm sorry. I mean, you did what you could. You tried to help and I blamed you for it. I'm so, so sorry. We know. You don't have anything to apologize for. I know you didn't mean it. Thanks. I miss my boy. I miss him so much. I didn't raise him like I should have. Made mistakes. Wasn't there a whole lot for a couple years. Off on a boat somewhere or other. I thought I enjoyed that time away from him. From my family. Would I give anything for one more second with them? Aww. Play catch with Duck touch conscious face anything in the world i miss doc too he was a good friend and i haven't had too many of them he was a good boy pure just wanted folks to be happy that's all boy like that thrown into a world like this it's gonna be different with him he's gonna get raised right i won't make the same mistakes again that's a promise. If you last that long, you I wouldn't be surprised if Kenny dies this episode. Ain't no sense in both of us being over here. I can handle watch on my own. You should come too. I don't know. Come on. It'll be good for everyone. Yeah, okay. Let's go. We got everyone to rejoin. You see how much character development is in this season? It's crazy. A lot of you guys were saying that season three is not that good, and that kind of scares me. Uh, <laughs> Jane, you don't have to justify that with a response. Hey, I find it's best to just get this stuff out in the open. Let's drop. Well, that's fine. But I can confirm there was no time for kissing. All right, enough of that. Take <laughs> Mike. It's nice to hear people laughing. Yeah, it is. You just spend so much time trying to stay alive that you don't get a chance to enjoy living. Yeah, we need to make more time for that. Alcohol helps. <laughs> well, yeah, it does. Let me get that bottle. We got someone else that might need some help. Sounds like a waste of good rum. He lost his sister today. Whose fault was that? That makes it even harder to deal with. Trust me. He needs it as much as anyone right now. It's a nice thing to do. I said my piece. Yeah, we, yeah, you did, and we didn't need to hear it, so. Go give that boy some rum. I think that boy's a bad person. I just think good people do bad things sometimes. And they do it a lot more nowadays with the world being what it is. That's true. 
So I think it's best. Leave me to... alone! Sorry, okay? My fault. I shouldn't have. Leave me alone! Leave it alone. It's okay. It's okay. She's in a better place. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe it's best if we all get some rest. Who knows how long a walk we got tomorrow? Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll take first watch. Thank you, Kenny. Really. I, uh... Don't mention it. You did good. It was nice while it lasted. That man is still holding that baby. God dang it. <laughs> Put that baby down. Give it to someone else. That baby does not need to be in the cold over there. You sure you're good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. If I if I start to crap out, I'll let you know. Okay, will you do that? It's no trouble. How much further? Close. Very close. You've been saying that every time I ask. Please. Come. Uh oh. I'm really starting to think <gasps> you're full of shit. Kenny, look out! What the fuck? Ah, ah, ah! Shoot! Jesus Christ. Oh my god. That's the Red Dead Redemption 2 in me. Fucker came out of nowhere. That was real loud. Hopefully there aren't more of them. Yeah, well, let's move. We don't want to be around to find out. It's very close. Come. I said dead eye. There. That piece of shit is half built. We're here for the supplies, not the house. It's warm. Fireplace. Very warm. I'd just like a place to sit, if I'm honest. Is there any other way to get there? Do we have to cross the lake? I should have stuck to the tree line. The fastest way between two things is a straight line. It's not far. Just be on the lookout. Maybe there's a way around. I don't see any. Say it in an American asshole. It's okay. Walk. Ice. No shit ice. That's the problem. He's saying it's fine. I go first. I can be front. Maybe we shouldn't come together. We just can't have too much weight. She's right. We need to spread out. Just to be safe. Less weight the better. Let the Rusky go first, since he's so confident. It's okay. But what? Come on, let's be respectful now. Like this. Somebody's gonna fall. Is it gonna be Luke? Or is it gonna be Clem? We're okay. Don't worry. Luke, be careful. Oh man, the zombies would be coming now. Dang it. We got some walkers behind us. That's only a few of them. We should be all right. Let's just get to the house. Hey, He's going to do something reckless. That's two less to deal with. Just stay spread out and we'll be fine. Hey. He's gone. I knew he was going to do something. Shit. He's 
and let you drown, you piece of shit. No! Kenny! Don't hurt him! Oh, he's not. Okay, we're good. We made it across, though. Well, some of us did. Well, they made it. Oh, Luke, be careful. Don't come over here. No, no, that's not a good idea. Hey, I can make it. It's, it's fine. You sure? Yeah. You got walkers on the way. Let me help it's too you. Too thin for both of us. I just, I just gotta be careful. Oh! Luke, no! Stop! Stop! No, 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 no. I'm fine. I'm fine. No, you're not. I just gotta pull myself out. You gotta get out of there, Luke. Yeah, Clem. I'm working on it. You need to help. No. Clem, You're gonna go. Fall through. Go help no, him. No, Clem, Clem, do not. Just go back for me. Uh, you you stop can do it. Stop telling her that. Clem, look at me. Pull out your gun and shoot those damn walkers, okay? Just give me a little time. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. But you need to go. No. Now. Clem. It's too dangerous. He's gonna yeah, I die, just need Clint. some more time. You guys gotta hurry. You'll fall through. I can figure oh, it out. Crap! Cover him, Thanks. cover him. Thanks. I'll be on a sec. Just, just keep shooting. Okay, no, okay. I'm I'm Bonnie, shut I'm up. I just I'm sick of it. I got you. Rest the sec. Uh, keep him off us, no, no, it's too much. No, Bonnie, oh, what are you shut doing? Up. Go back. I can see. I got you. You're such an idiot. Now you're about to die. Now you're both about to die. Oh my god. They might break out though. Hold on. Oh wait, wait, wait. Luke. Did she hit it? Come on. Come on. What do you mean? No. Nothing more you can do. What do you mean? Clementine! <gasps> Get him! Fuck. It's okay, I got you. No. I got you. Come on. Come on, she's gonna be okay. <gasps> oh, to the house, we need a fire. Oh, fuck, she's gonna fucking freeze to death. Oh, man, Luke. How the fuck did that happen? There's a fireplace. Jesus Christ. We oh, my God. She's gonna freeze to death. This is gone. Looks fucking gone. We should have gone around. God damn it. We should have just fucking gone around. God damn it. It happened too fast. I said I started to go. There wasn't nothing any of us could do. You could have. You could have. No, stop. To her, Clem. This ain't on you. You son of a bitch! This is your fucking fault! Kenny! Don't, man! Don't what? It's nobody's damn fault! A hell it ain't! <sighs> I'm freezing. Can we just get a fire started? Look at this place. Just a stack of fucking toothpicks! That those magical supplies are bullshit too! What? No speaking of English? Fuck you. You fucking commie piece of shit, Kenny! Fuck you. He might have actually lost it. Fuck the fuck, Kenny! Piece of shit! Kenny, stop it! Just stop. What did 
did you do to him? There's another just like it. He wasn't lying. You want to tell me how a can of fucking chili is gonna help How is beating a kid to death gonna help anyone? This is your fault, and you damn well know it. I'm tying him up. Fine. Mike, help me get a fire started. You okay? He's hurt real bad. Mike! Yeah. Yeah, okay. Kenny's actions aren't matching his words. Like when we talked to him last night, he seemed cool, calm, collected. He seemed like he knew that what he was doing, he was just messing up. You know what I mean? Like he actually seemed like he was thinking about what he needs to do in the future instead of being angry. But as soon as he's in a situation, he's just wild. Like what is going on, man? I'm sick of it. You got a life. Honestly, we should just kill him. I, thought I, had <laughs> I know that's messed up, but that kid's gonna end up killing somebody. We're kind of in a situation with him. <gasps> the nail file. Trying to not get hyperthermia, please. We're gonna be good. Bro, I'm tired of this kid uh, mean mugging me. Like, come on, we get it. I know you're in a pretty bad situation, but you, you almost put us in a bad situation. Oh, gotcha, kid. Y'all were about to rob us. He could have killed you. We let him go. You're up. Kenny's out back trying to get some stupid truck started. Oh, another truck. Gotta love it. Here, you should eat something. You okay? Thank you. Mike is the therapist of the group. I love it. I can't believe he's gone. I've lost people before, but it just hasn't felt this, this shitty in a while. He cared about you too, Jane. I know he did. God damn it. I shouldn't have come back. I knew this would happen. I knew it. Always does. Well, I'm glad you did. I'm gonna find something to clean that up. I can't take this shit anymore. Feeling better? Yeah. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it, I could use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth a crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. With a little luck, we can get one fixed up. Be out of here by nightfall. Yeah, sure, Kenny. That's the spirit, darling. I'll wait for you out back. I'll watch him. Clem. Just be careful. What did she have to say? I know she was running her mouth. 
What did she say? Well, we didn't talk about you. Really? Really, Kenny. <sighs> what happened? It's over. But AJ needs us now. We gotta stick together on this thing, alright? Man, we lost Luke, man. Come this on. situation Let's sucks. See if the truck's gonna go. My daddy always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up. He was a mean son of a bitch. But he taught me respect. Girl like Jane could learn a thing or two about that. Ew. I like her. Just give her some time. Maybe you're right. Hell, I didn't know what to make of Lee at first. Of course, he helped me and mine more times than I can remember. He sure did. He helped us back on the road. All right, give it a turn. I hope nothing bad happens. We're so close, Clem. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running, and then we can get out on the road and really make some distance. Wellington's got to be out there. Now, those rumors can't all be bunk. I mean, hell, there's got to be something out here other than snow and goddamn Euro trash. Sounds good to me. Euro trash? We're going to make it, Clem. The I racism know. is killing me. All right, turn it again. Did you turn it? Yes. God damn it. <sighs> we'll get it working. We got to get moving if we're going to keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. I got to get this thing to start. Gonna try warming up the battery. Go on inside. I don't like leaving him with that girl. Is your better, right? I wonder what Bonnie has to say. She was mad at me because I didn't save Luke. See, it made more sense for like people to be mad at Lee for not saving people, but people to be mad at Clem for not saving people. This seems kind of messed up. I think that breaks the immersion for me a little bit. What do you want? Here we go. I'm sorry about Luke. Sorry. It must be nice being a pretty little girl. No one ever expects you to do a damn thing. No one ever, no one ever expects you to do a darn thing. So who has pretty much been doing everything in this entire chapter? Clementine has literally done every single thing that adults should be doing. The adults are like, oh, well, how do we start this turbine? I don't get it. Literally, you just had to pick the key up and put it in and turn it. What? Hey, Clem, save this person. I do it. Hey, Clem, go over here and do this. I do it. Like, what are you talking about? It makes no sense. You're you stupid. You both know you had a chance to save Luke. You and I both know what happened back there. I got nothing more to say to you. Get out of here. Just go. Let's go. I'm over it, girl. I don't care. He died. Get over it. He died. Oh, well. I saved her life, though. 
who was the one that broke the ice to save her? I don't know. Maybe the ghost. Maybe the Yeti that's out here living in the mountains. So I moved him in here. God damn it. I've seen that look before. Son of a bitch. Oh, damn it. I can't believe what he did to Arvo. Next time he's gonna kill him. You really wanna be around for that? I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy, too. Once. Probably had a nice job and a nice pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. We can still make this work. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. She's probably right, to be honest. I'm kind of seeing... I'm seeing that the writing is kind of on the wall. Seems like you've done that before. You wanna try? No way. It's gonna puke. Clem, no. Hold it like this. Hey. Hi. <laughs> My name's Jane. I think it's gonna puke. It's not gonna puke. <coughs> it puked. It puked. Gross. Girl, you put Walker guts all over your body. What are you talking about? There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago down near DC. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway. The dick got stuck under a car, hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. All that for one person? All that for one person? That's what I'm saying. Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turned and ripped the neck right out of this old lady. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky. Like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. Oh, he got it to work. He got it working. Uh-oh, I hope that's not foreshadowing that something's gonna happen to click Kenny. And we're gonna have to leave him behind. And he's gonna die. And I'm gonna cry. What'd I tell you? So what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? We need to find a place for the baby. Yeah, someplace warm. I agree. Should head back south. What? We're gonna freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? The fuck? It was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry, we did? We're going to find Wellington, right, Clem? Wellington? Kenny, it's freezing up here, man. Oh it's man. It's get worse. We came this far. We're not going back. We don't have to leave right now. Let's just sleep on it. Well, that sounds sensible. Damn it, we don't have time. Says you. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go, and we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got of helping AJ. What about Arbo? Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. He could die. Better him than another one of us. We should ask him what he wants. There's a concept. He knows the area. 
He can help us. Oh yeah, some help he's been. He got Luke killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation, but maybe if you'd eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. You ever think about that, Kenny? Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. God damn it! Don't say anything, Clem. This group is falling apart. We got Bonnie mad over here. I think Mike's sense in him. For his sake. Why? Why is that my job? God damn it! That stupid fucking Get the fuck out of here! It's me. Clem. Sorry, just give me a second. Close the door. Can you believe this, Clem? I bring them a working truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. I knew Jane would have a stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike would have more sense. He's turned out to be a real disappointment. They're scared of you, Kenny. If their big plan is to wander around in the woods, they ought to be scared of more than me. Did you hear me? We're all scared. Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A mm. lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. We owe it to them to see this done. This is different. How? Where are we going to find baby formula? I don't know, but sitting around here ain't a way. <sighs> I wish Lee was here. What do you think he'd say? I think he'd tell me to try to keep the group together and that we should keep moving i think you're right we can't just give up on this kid i mean what's the point of going on after that that's what people like lee knew and what people like jane won't ever understand look i know wellington might be bullshit, but where there's smoke there's fire krista heard about it too right you know, when I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now, grown up. Uh, I felt pride, a pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. It's the only chance that child has. Yeah, but... We can't do it alone. We need the others. And that's why I gotta be able to count on you, Clem. We gotta convince him. You and me. Look, we'll figure everything out in the morning. There you go. There you go. Yes. Let's get some sleep. That's what I want to hear. Ready. Turn it around. Turn it around. I hope he really does. Cause like, I hope it's not just all talk and then tomorrow he's gonna be yelling at people again you know what i mean like actually do what you were just saying right there i want to see some action what's going on now Who is that? So 
Those just random people? Who's there? <gasps> Arvo. Oh, they're leaving. Easy. Easy now. Step back. Clown. Shit. What are you doing? I got the rest of it. Clem. We're just leaving. I'll keep it down, all right? Nobody else has to get involved. That's everything we have. Listen, we just gotta get away from that guy, Clem. Okay? Dang it, Kenny. Who? Kenny? Clem, damn it, just... We don't have time for this. Come on, Mike. Let's just go. Just a bad dream, sweet pea. What the heck? What was it about? Duck? He's bit. We don't know how this works yet. Maybe it's like a cold. His mom's a doctor. Maybe she can help him. When I was a kid, I never got sick, but my brother always had something. He's going to die. I know it. You don't know that? I feel bad. Why? I called him a crybaby when I hid the bug in his pillow. Oh. Oh, that's okay, honey. He didn't mean it. Why did Lily do that to Carly? I don't know. She was sad, Clem. That can make people angry sometimes. Have you ever been that angry? One time. Well, people don't always make sense. How come? Because bad things happen to everyone. And it's hard to keep being yourself after they do. <laughs> do you think we should have let Lily stay? <laughs> I... 
I don't know. <sighs> I don't either. I don't know if we did the right thing. How can you tell? Well, it's not like math, Clem. Sometimes there just isn't the right answer. I hate math. <laughs> Me too, sweet pea. Uh, but part of growing up is doing what's best for the people you care about. Even if sometimes that means hurting someone else. I don't want to hurt anyone. It's not that easy. I'm scared, Lee. What can I tell you to make it better? That you won't leave me. Oh, I wouldn't do that. I promise. Everything's gonna be all right. Let's try to get some sleep. Okay, Lee. Jane's here? Did they kill them? She's awake. Oh man, she's shot. Hey you. Clem. Oh, thank God. You passed out from the shock. What happened? That piece of shit Rusky shot you. We had to run the truck to keep you warm. How do you feel? It hurts. Couldn't find the bullet. Must have gone clean through. It'll burn a while, but you'll be fine. Where's Those Mike and bitches. Bonnie? I mean, I expected it from the Russian, but Mike? I could tell they were working on something. I didn't think they'd go that far. Yeah, well, who would steal our food and shoot a kid? He never should have thrown in with trash like that in the first place. Is Bonnie okay? They took off on foot. Didn't get this puppy thanks to you. Now that Clem's awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're that is good going. that we what, got the car. Wellington? You sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to house. Carver's camp? The fuck kind of plan is that? I think Bonnie said there was more formula back there. And we actually know where it is. And it was overrun by a damn herd. The walkers should be gone by now. We should go back to house. Now, Clem? It's our best chance. I get it, just ganging up on Kenny now. Good. Kenny, come on. No, I see how this is gonna go. She's filling your head with bullshit. She can think for herself, Kenny. So let her, Jane. Look, even if there is some place up here, it could take us weeks to find it. We, we don't know where it is. In a day. That baby Tell needs food. What? We can turn around just as soon as you pry this wheel from a cold, dead fingers. How's that sound? Whatever. I give up. Get your feet off the dash. Uh oh. Let's play a game, Clem. I spy with my little eye an asshole. Your turn. Grow up. Go to hell. I'll pull this fucking car over. Go ahead. You want to die out here? Better than waiting to die next to you. Don't touch her, Kenny. I couldn't see the damn road. Bet you're having trouble seeing a lot of things these days. You shut your fucking Ooh. mouth. I am done playing games with you, Jane. Fuck you. You don't know a damn thing about me. Oh, I know exactly what you are. Nothing. Nobody cares about you. And you don't Dang, care we're about back to the same old Kenny, that man. You nothing. What is it with I can't you? roll with that, this anymore. Family, right? Don't. It is, isn't it? I'm warning you, you little shit. You're just another type A asshole trying to save a bunch of dead people. 
Don't you fucking talk about them! This isn't the time for this. No, this is exactly the time for this. You listen to me. You mouth off about my family, and I will fucking end you. Jesus Christ, I'm so sick of this wounded warrior crap. Just pull over. I can't take this. What? Running away again? What a fucking shocker. In the end, still only care about yourself, right? Where were you when Sarita got bit, Kenny? Huh? Where were you? I was there. I couldn't... God damn you, I love that woman! Who could love you? Look at you. You can't raise this kid. It's scared to death of you. I got this way, saving your ass from that hellhole. And I would have left you to rot if I'd known what you were. <gasps> this is crazy. Ha, huh, someone here's crazy, but it ain't me. You know the thing about people like you, Kenny? You're just a bomb waiting to go off. Everyone talks about you behind your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't true. Mike, Bonnie, Sarita. Fucking liar, that ain't true. Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're gonna end up dead. Sarita knew it, I know it, and so does Clementine. I told you not to talk about my family. Fuck you. You fucking piece of shit. Go to hell, you son of a bitch. Jesus. You okay? I'm fine. How's AJ? He's fine. You sure? Yes. Clem, you all right? Yeah. Penny, I'm... Wait, hold on. Go around. One of them might have diesel. We shouldn't stop here. We're running on fumes. Got no choice. When I holler, it's okay. Drive up closer. Anything happens. I'll oh no. Sure. Something bad is gonna happen. Right? If you're going, go now. Kenny. That fucking asshole. God. I can't do this anymore. I'm serious, Clem. I tried, but I just can't. I don't know how to get through to him anymore. I don't think we can. We can't. Clem. We could leave. Right now. Are you <gasps> What about AJ? Look, I, I know you're close to him, but Kenny would never let him go. This is our chance, Clem. Don't you ever want to know what it's like to live your own life? What the? Oh, we might have to go. Oh my so, god. Why are they moving? They must not be cold enough yet. Fuck. I don't know how to drive. See that pedal on the floor? Step on it. Oh, just sit there. Okay. You gotta turn the wheel too. Oh. Jesus. Whoa. Not good. Get out of there. The door is stuck. Shit. Shit. There are more of them. Move. Oh, crap. This reminds me of when Lee was in that cop car. Get out, Dane! Hurry. Dane, wait! Oh no, this is such a crappy situation. Dane! Well, what the heck do we do? What the heck, Clementine? The situation sucks. Oh my God. I mean, they are walking slower though, I'm noticing. Oh wait, what? I don't see any. I just hear them. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I guess over here.
What was that? What the heck is going on here? Uh, it's a blizzard. Let me tell you. There's no way you could survive a zombie apocalypse. Let's be honest. With climate change the way it is right now, you'd be cooked. I don't know where else to go. Oh, wait. That's a park. You could maybe survive if you went to like California and that would be really lucky. The East Coast, you wouldn't have a chance. The East Coast just has way too many like Different seasons and the weather's always Kenny. different. Oh, Kenny! You all right? Yeah. Where is he? Where's the kid? I don't know. You left him with her? Kenny? What's I supposed to do? <laughs> Jane! Wait. Oh, thank Christ. That baby needs to get out of the cold. Where's the kid? Jane, where is he? Where is he? Where's the baby? He's What are you saying? No. No. Not again. Not again. Glenn, look at me. Oh, wait. No what happens? Just stay out of it. She's going to kill him. Just trust me, Glenn. Stay out of what? You have to trust me. You're going to see what he really is. Oh, man. He's about to come beat the crap out of her. Kenny, calm down. Don't do anything stupid. Get out of my way. Kenny? Did you kill a fucking child? I didn't kill him. It was an oh, accident, shit. Kenny. Kenny, there's nothing you can do. She has a knife. You, Kenny. Shut up. I'm warning you. We can't kill each other. Not after all this. We're all that's left. Stay out of this, Clem. Clem? Stay back. Oh, man. Don't you come near me, you son of a bitch. Here we go. Get we got to get rid of him. We got to kill him. Stop! Please! Let go! Oh. This is all your fucking fault. No, Clementine, leave it alone. Just go. I ain't going nowhere. Fine. We're going to kill each other. No, I'm going to kill her. Try it, you old fuck. Oh my god. Oh. Listen to me! Get her off! 
Don't do anything, Clem. Oh. Ah! Oh no. You gotta do something, Clem. You gotta kill him. He's gonna kill Jane. You have to do it. You have to do it. I'm sorry. God damn it. Understand if you're upset. AJ was never in any danger. I was just going to try to talk you into coming with me. I just thought if you saw Kenny like that, you'd know we'd have to leave him. Look, Clem, I'm sorry. I didn't think Kenny would go that far. But it's over now. We're all safe. We're going to be. Oh my god, my controller died at the worst possible part. Uh. Okay. I don't understand. Penny was dangerous, and I needed you to see that, one way or another. What are you saying? I had to do it, Clem. You saw how he reacted. I had to show you what he was capable of. It was a stupid plan. I should never have lied to you, but I thought it was the only way you'd see. Oh my God. Kenny, you have I knew she was doing that. Please. We can just leave all this behind us. Please. I did it for you, Clem. For us. We're free now. I forgive you, Jane. She's right, though. Thank you. Thank you, Clem. You were right about Kenny. All along. You knew what he was going to do. She's still kind of a snake. Now, Clem. Let's just 
Put all this behind us. My trust with her is still kind of broken, though. I'm not going to lie. Like, she is suspicious now. But I agree with her. Like, Kenny was out of control. And he was trying to take control of every possible situation. And he wouldn't listen to Clementine. And, like, Jane's the only one that, like, actually listens to Clementine. They're a good team. And she will work together with people for the most part. And she has a lot of street smarts when it comes to the zombie apocalypse. Let's be honest. She knows what to do. This is nine days later. Let's go. They went back to house like they should have. Can't see much from here. Come on. There's probably still people in there, though. Because they were fighting from the rooftops, I remember. Carver's still there. Dead. Yikes. That man doesn't even have a face anymore. That's some like serial killer stuff. Me too. Here's the food. Clem, this formula. Bonnie was right. Greenhouse is in good shape. You know, maybe we should stay here a while. See how it goes. Just, just stay behind me. Who is that? Clem. They have a boy. Come on. They have a little boy. They don't look armed. Is this your place? It's uh. Quiet. Yeah. It is. Really? Yeah. Why? We need help. My boy, he... He ain't doing so good. What's wrong with him? Look, uh, don't worry. He ain't, uh, he ain't bit. Just hungry. We've been walking for weeks. Ran out of food a couple days back. That's your kid? Where are you girls been? Why do you care? Whoa, I, I didn't mean nothing by it. Step away from the fence, please. Keep your eye on him. This place needs a lot of work. Yeah? Ah, uh, we could help you. There's not that much food left. Dang. Please. We won't make it another night out here. Look, I know you don't know us, and I know a lot of people out here say a lot of things, but I'm asking you, as a father, please don't turn us away. I don't know, Clem. It could be anybody. Do we really want to go through this again? I know they're trying to hit me with they have a kid and stuff like that. I've tried to be nice to people this entire game, and it's only bit me in the butt. I'm sorry. Like, I feel like I'm actually in the game, like in the world. At this point, I've lost trust in people completely. Like, I was rocking with Arvo and Mike and Bonnie, and look what they did. They shot me. <sighs> and now we're two girls alone. Please. Inviting people in? Out here. We gotta be safe. Just give us a chance. Give us a chance to prove ourselves. You won't regret it. I promise you. you yes, we will. Let us in. No, we don't. Leave. What? You heard me. Now. Please. Don't do this. Are you sure you want to do this, little girl? I mean, what if... What if we're dangerous? What if I am? Come on, honey. Let's go. We got a baby, bro. We got food. He had a gun, too. He could have killed us. Yikes. Thanks for doing that. After looking at that kid, I wasn't sure if I could. But we had to. We have to look out for ourselves now. 
Sometimes you have to hurt someone else to protect the people you care about. That's what Lee said. Told me that once. They might come back. We'll be ready. <laughs> what if there's like some crazy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She said exactly what I said. What if there's like some revenge plot? This this little boy like grows up. We see him again. He's like trying to kill us. He's like, I remember you turned me and my parents away. Now my parents are dead. <laughs> and it's like some like Ellie and uh, I don't even remember what the other girl's name was, but some Last of Us story, Last of Us 2. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Anyways. Okay, so we're just going to skip to my discussion on this, okay? I want to talk about the ending because I feel like the game doesn't give you any time to digest anything that was happening. My emotions were running. I was getting stressed out. There was a lot happening at that time. Plus, I feel manipulated by both Jane and Kenny in this situation. But let me go ahead and talk about Kenny for a second. Let's start off with him, right? Now, the thing about Kenny is I was rocking with Kenny the whole entire chapter. Season two, I was rocking with him. I wanted to make sure he was good. You know, everybody was doubting him. And you guys saw I was backing him up. I was trying to stay on his side. But towards the end... I stopped trusting him. And the reason being is because a lot of the things that he was doing towards the end was like indirectly affecting Clementine, if that makes sense. Like how he was handling the Arvo situation, it was putting the group on edge and putting the group on edge hurt Clementine because she ended up getting shot later on, right? Everybody stopped trusting him. And then you guys saw Arvo ended up shooting Clementine. So like as much as I love Kenny, he was putting Clementine in some really bad spots, man. I mean, he did save her in the season two with the walkie talkie. And I didn't forget that. But I do feel like, you know, he wasn't doing it to necessarily like directly hurt Clementine. But like I said, it was an indirect thing. Like he wasn't really thinking about what he was doing and how it was going to affect the people that he cares about, Clementine, AJ, et cetera, right? But I love Kenny because I know that he cares about Clementine and I know that he cared about AJ also. So I didn't kill him out of spite, like I hate him or anything like that. I love Kenny to the end, but the situation that we were in, it's just like, bro, if you keep being this hot-headed guy you know, working off of your emotions and never thinking you're going to keep putting me and AJ in bad situations. I didn't like that. Now, when it comes to Jane, I liked Jane. Kinda. I didn't like how she acted with Sarah. I didn't like how she acted with AJ. I feel like from Jump Street, when Rebecca was pregnant all the way to the end of the game, Jane was just treating Rebecca and AJ like they were obstacles. You know what I mean? Like, this is just getting in the way of me being able to survive. And it's like, you don't have to be here. And we even told her that. We were like, hey, no one's keeping you here. You can dip, bro. No one's keeping you here. But she decided to stay. So if you're deciding to stay, well, you need to like AJ. You need to like, to, you need to like the baby. You got to treat the baby like it's a human being and not an obstacle. And I watched the ending back twice because I was like, man, that just didn't sit right with, with me what she did. And the whole thing where next thing you know, we hear the baby crying and then we run up to the car and she's like, yeah, I think it's hungry. You know what I mean? It just, it didn't sit right with me, bro. Like you used a baby to manipulate us. You put the baby in an unsafe situation she literally put the baby in the back of a car where a walker could get it that that didn't sit right with me that's why i was saying in this episode like after you know everything was said and done i was like man she's suspect now because i don't trust her like she's literally putting a baby at risk you know what i mean and then on top of that she was putting uh you remember sarah she was like oh man sarah is an obstacle we gotta let her go just let her go clem okay so you want you want to let Sarah go. That was red flag number one. Now you're putting a baby in a car by itself. That's red flag number two. So hold on, girl. Are you telling me so if something happens to me? What are you going to do? 
You gonna leave me too? If you can leave it, if you can leave an infant, a baby, a child, then you're gonna leave Clementine. Let's keep it a buck. You're you're obviously not somebody that I can trust. So I don't. It was just one of those things where it's like I didn't even know if like you could just go by yourself because if I could kill both of them, I'd be cool. At, I'd be cool with that because they were both putting me in danger and AJ at danger. Also, I feel like Clementine would have been better off by herself solo at that point, you know? But, um, now that I think about it though, now that I've sat on it and I let it kind of digest a little bit, I feel like I'm more team Kenny. I wish I, I kind of wish I could go back and like redo that part. You know what I mean? Can I do that? Like, I just feel like that would be kind of cheap because I already made my choice. I already made my decision. And I feel like if I go back on that, then it just kind of ruins the playthrough. In my opinion, I feel like the whole thing of like not save scumming and like changing things like after you've seen them is the whole point of the game. Right. So I don't really want to save scum and just go back and like, change my decision that I had just because like now I sat on it and thought about it, you know, for 15 minutes or whatever. But that just kind of irked me. So I just want people to know that if I could change my decision, I would have went with Kenny for sure. If I could go by myself, like if I could just get rid of both of them, then heck yeah, I would have just did that to be honest. But um, we went with Jane, as you guys saw. I feel manipulated as heck because I feel like, you know, she was kind of right. But then at the same time, she was doing wrong, you know? <sighs> like, I agreed with her to a certain degree when it came to Kenny. But at the same time, I didn't agree with what her methods were to get me to agree with her. Like, leaving a baby in the car, that is not acceptable. That is disgusting. I can't believe anybody could do that. You know what I mean? And I, I, it wasn't, I wasn't processing it in that situation because I was still crying about Kenny and thinking about like everything that was said in the scene between him and Clementine. And I was like, man, that was sad. And I didn't even notice that like, hold on this, this girl left the baby in the back seat of a car all by itself. That's nuts. That is completely wild to me. Like Kenny would have never have done that. I think that's nasty work, bro. That is nasty work. So it is what it is. We made our decision. That's how the game goes. But, um, dang. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new and, uh, I'm moving on.